Hi, I'm Erica with speakmethod.com and here I want to talk about your continued pronunciation practice or your daily practice as you learn. So a few simple tips, uh, simple but necessary. The first one is make sure you're speaking aloud. I know that one's kind of obvious, yes, but I also know that sometimes people get busy and um, it might be difficult to find a time and a place where you can speak aloud, where your family members are not listening to you. Such things can get in the way. But you really do have to speak aloud to change your pronunciation. Otherwise, you're only changing your thought patterns, which is a lot different than your actual speech. Second thing is to really use repetition. Pronunciation is a physical thing, so you have to change uh, physical habits. Just like doing any kind of exercise, like if you're lifting weights, you have to repeat in order to get stronger and better. So, well, as you go through the 750 Business Words course, don't, uh, don't think that you're going to do each lesson only one time. Do the lessons that are important to you two or three times or more. Do them as much as you need. Never think of repetition as a waste of time. It's not a waste of time. It's an exercise. And the more you exercise your, your new sounds, the better you'll become. Now, the next thing, simple tip, is just to read aloud. You can use any book and read aloud. And this is often a good way to supplement your practice because as you read aloud, you will probably start finding American T sound changes or R's you might have not pronounced <laughs> that now you want to pronounce or you'll think about an O and hmm, which sound is in this word? So it will help you to apply some of what you're learning to a new text. And then finally, listen, of course. So you can find videos and audiobooks are a great resource because of course a reader um, of an audiobook will go a little bit more slowly than some people in videos or interviews. And also, of course, readers of audiobooks are experienced with pronunciation. So they will tend to give you good sounds. So you do have to watch out a little bit and make sure your reader is not from New York or Southern Louisiana or something like that. You want to look for a standard American dialect there. Okay, so I hope these tips uh, help you as you continue in your pronunciation practice.